this model kit review is of the F117A Stealth Fighter and it's a very large model, it's a 130 second scale model by testers yeah, you can see this is a picture of the finished uh, model there and uh, some of the dimensions there, some pictures of the real plane and over here we've got some details about the um, about the plane, some pictures of the model. So now let's have a look inside here. It's a very large model as you can see. First of all, let's have a look here at the main body here. And unwrap this one. So as you can see, it's very large. Here's the uh, cockpit and uh, our air intakes. It does have some detail here on the surface. These are all raised panel lines, unfortunately. But uh, molding quality is reasonable. Here is our glass. And over here we have our underside of the fuselage. Here's our nose wheel well and uh, main wheel wells over here. And this is our cargo bay, or engine, sorry, not cargo bay, our weapons bay. You can see with some flashing that did not come out. Molding quality is reasonable. We do have some mold lines on the edges and flashing up here by the nose. These uh, next two screws here. So here are our wings and uh, main gear, main wheels. There's a fair amount of detail there. Uh, we also have our uh, elevators. You can see here we've got some flashing. Uh, it's not very well molded. All of these are raised power lines. And uh, more flashing down over here. The other main wheels. So it's going to be a fair amount to clean this up. Looking at this uh, third screw here. Here's the... Uh, the uh, cover for the canopy, we've got some air intakes, let's look at the other side here, here's our main uh, weapons bay, we've got some details here on the inside of the wheel wells, there is the uh, instrument panel there, we've got some flashing really everywhere, not very well molded, here's the uh, weapons bay cover, and our exhaust diffusers, there's our cockpit, that's a fair amount of detail there. And nose gear, uh, bay door cover. And uh, here we have our weapons, some very large uh, bombs, missiles. Here's our ejection seat, there's the sides of them. And a uh, reasonable level of detail there. Okay, let's have a look at our decals here. We've actually got some nice decals. They're very well printed and uh, they're in good condition for this being an older model. Here are the instructions. Some details about the plane. Dimensions there. And uh, let's see here. 
Here's the uh, parts listings. So we start off with the uh, cockpit and ejection seat. And uh, put that into the um, body, the fuselage, as well as the uh, air inlets. We make our weapon systems and put those into the uh, weapons bay. And we put together the uh, canopy and our exhausts. And then um, over here you see the um, you need to weight the front, that's very important, otherwise it won't uh, stand with its nose down. Um, and the fuselage is assembled. And uh, next, uh, put on our canopy and nose parts or the antenna. We have uh, our wings and uh, the V tail put on there. Here just shows you the details for the uh, landing gear. This is the nose gear that gets put together. Next we have the uh, main gear being put together. And all the bay doors going on. Next we have the uh, decals and paint guide. There's the uh, top. There's the bottom. And some pictures here of the uh, plane. They aren't very good pictures though, so you might want to look them up online. So all in all, um, it's a very big model. It's got some nice features to it, good decals. Details are average.